Hi there. Today is Thursday, October 13th. I'm Danielle Wiggins with your 3 News Now morning update. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on the WKYC YouTube page. We start with Holly for a check of today's forecast because Holly, we're dealing with that rain. Yeah, many of you still seeing a few showers this morning and uh, we can't rule out a shower chance even into this afternoon. This is a fast forward to 1 o'clock today. Still some spotty showers. Temperatures just hovering in the 50s, but we are going to see very cloudy skies otherwise, meaning some sunshine. So typical autumn weather, it's back. And as we get into the weekend, your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook shows off a dry Friday, more or less, with the temperatures in the 50s. 60s Saturday, shower chances, not a washout. You'll be able to get out and have some autumn fun for sure. And of course, big sports weekend again here in the CLE with the Guardians and the Browns and our weather cooperates, but Danielle, you can't help but notice that weather next week. Mm -hmm. It is really going to get chilly and we might even see a few wet snowflakes mixing in. Yeah, I see that for Tuesday. Thank you so much, Ali. And topping your news headlines this morning, the two fishermen accused of putting weights inside their fish to win a walleye tournament are now facing criminal charges. Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky have been indicted on three felony charges and a misdemeanor charge here in Cleveland. This comes nearly two weeks after the fishing tournament on Lake Erie, where the two men allegedly placed weights inside the fish they caught. The charges are each punishable of up to 12 months in prison. And a man who suffered a medical emergency shortly after being arrested by Cleveland police has died. Police say the man had the emergency as he was being taken into the county jail. A nurse who works at the jail gave him CPR and administered Narcan. He was taken to Metro Health where he later died. His name has not yet been released. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office is investigating the death. University Hospitals announces hundreds of layoffs. 117 administrative employees will be let go, and the hospital also eliminated more than 320 unfilled administrative positions. None of the positions cut provide direct patient care. UH says the layoffs were needed because the hospital's operating loss is over $180 million this year. Now to health news. The CDC has given the green light for updated COVID boosters for kids. They will target the current strain of COVID. Pfizer boosters are approved for kids ages 5 to 11, while Moderna's is approved for those as young as 6. And there have been a lot of conversations about mental health in young adults. And now some experts are saying we should be talking about it with our kids even sooner. A new recommendation from the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force suggests pediatricians screen for anxiety in children as young as eight years old and depression starting at 12. That expert task force identified that around eight, there's a lot of opportunity for us to be supporting children and families and having these conversations and screening so that we're catching as early as possible. And so if we can identify some of these things early before they become a problem, it helps all of us because then we're able to, to give them coping. We're able to help parents and caregivers understand how to support children. So if you are wondering what the signs of anxiety and depression could be, look for a shift in your child's appetite or sleeping, isolating, changing friends, turning inward, or even aggression or irritability. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and together, Cleveland Clinic, Metro Health, and University Hospitals are teaming up to inform women of their expanded coverage under insurance. Now in Ohio, health insurers must cover at least one breast cancer screening a year, regardless of a person's risk. These screenings include 3D mammography. And it was a scary scene for one couple over the weekend when an asthma attack nearly turned deadly. Kyle Root called 911 when his fiance Madison had a severe asthma attack at their Middlefield home and stopped breathing. Geauga County Dispatcher Christina Lampman walked him through the scary situation, helping him perform life-saving CPR. Well, you can see here the couple wanted to thank Christina in person for going above the call of duty. It might be just a day to day job to them. It might be, you know, another phone call, another person to help. It's just 
what they wake up and they do every day, but it's my life that she had in her hands that night and she did everything right. And I feel like it's so important that they see that recognition and that love from their community just saying thank you. So the dispatcher says this is the first time in 13 years that she has met the person on the other end of the call. Christina says most of the time dispatchers don't know if the people they're helping survive or if they survive or not. Meanwhile, Kyle says he plans to take a CPR course just in case this happens again. Well, good luck to all of them. I'm glad they were able to say thank you. And I want to say thank you for taking time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and beyond. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on go starting at 4.30 a.m. Have a great day, everybody.